Cardiovascular disease is the general term for conditions that affect the heart or blood vessels. Atherosclerosis is the cardiovascular disease that affects the blood vessels. It often develops in the aorta, coronary arteries, and cerebral arteries. Figure A shows normal artery. So this is a lumen of the artery through which blood flows. Figure B shows minor blockage of the artery. You can see here lipid accumulation in the wall of the artery. The inner lining is damaged and this leads to inflammation. And this also causes the lumen to become narrow. The artery is blocked and when it is filled with blood, it loses ability to stretch. While C shows severe blockage of the artery due to formation of plaque and thrombus. Plaque is formed from various substances including cholesterol and calcium, while thrombus is blood clot. And D shows that the lumen of the artery is completely blocked by the thrombus. Atherosclerosis begins with formation of fatty streak. Fatty streaks appear yellow-white on the arterial wall. The fatty streaks are visible. They can be seen with our naked eyes. Fatty streaks develop from foam cell. It starts with accumulation of low-density lipoprotein or LDL on the endothelium of arteries. Then macrophage phagocytizes the LDL and foam cell is formed. The next thing that will happen is the formation of plaque. Plaque or fibrofatty plaque or atherosclerotic plaque is formed when the smooth muscle fibers from the muscle layer multiply and cover the fatty streaks. The lining of the arteries now becomes inflamed. The plaque can turn into complicated plaque when collagen from proliferation of connective tissue fibers is added to the plaque. White blood cells will also migrate to the inflammation area. Calcium may also be added to the plaque and that triggers calcification which is the hardening of the arterial wall. This will eventually narrow the lumen. Smooth muscle fibers that multiply and cover the foam cell forms a fibrous cap. The function of fibrous cap is to wall off the core from the endothelium and the blood. The core is reached with low-density lipoprotein, the LDL. If the plaque ruptures, platelet will adhere to the arterial wall and thrombus will be formed. Thrombus is blood clot that can block the artery. When the artery is blocked, blood flow is interrupted and this can damage or destroy the heart muscle. This can eventually cause death of cardiac muscle tissue that triggers cardiac arrest where the heart stops beating. So this is known as heart attack or also known as myocardial infarction, one of the effects of atherosclerosis. Other than myocardial infarction, blocked arteries can also cause stroke where the brain cells die because brain tissues do not get enough oxygen. This can happen when the cerebral arteries are blocked. The risk factor for cardiovascular disease is hypertension or high blood pressure. High blood pressure is diagnosed when the systolic pressure is above 140 millimeters of mercury and when the diastolic pressure is above 90 millimeters of mercury. Hypertension can cause heart attack and also stroke. However, this can be prevented and controlled by changing our daily life activities 
and diet.